welcome to the bed lab. Lesson number two. The Wiimote is the controller for Nintendo's Wii console. In this tutorial we'll learn how to connect the Wiimote to a computer with a software called Oscillator and use a Wiimote as a MIDI controller for Ableton Live, Modulate or any other software you use for your performance. Today we're going to talk about Wiimotes and we're going to learn how to connect them to a video software or audio software like Ableton Live or Modulate or anything you use. It will become a MIDI controller. It's very cool because it is uh, Bluetooth so it has no cable and it has an accelerometer inside so you can modify your audio clips or sync sounds or video and you have uh, all these amazing buttons that you can push to trigger clips or trigger videos, trigger sounds, play MIDI notes, do whatever you like. So let's get started. To use a Wiimote with a, your laptop, you'll need a software called Osculator. It's free, uh, but it interrupts every couple minutes, every few minutes it interrupts the sounds, the, the, the communication between the Wiimote and the laptop. Once you tried it and you liked it, you can you can buy it. it it's like a donationware software. It's $20 for using an amazing program and connect your Wacom tablets or your Guitar Hero thing or your smartphones, Wiimotes, whatever. As they say in a website, Oscillator is the missing link between your controllers and your music or video software. For example, you can use a Nintendo Wii mode, an Apple iPhone with Ableton Live or any MIDI compatible application with ease. And it's true. Okay, let's get started. Once you download it, you can open it and create a new file. So it's blank when it opens and here there's this little thing and you find a Wiimote. Okay, now uh, the thing you w want to do is to enable your Bluetooth first because it's Bluetooth. So mine is enabled. When you're ready you just have to push the, the buttons 1 and 2 that you find here together like so and then it's paired it's already detecting the accelerometer inside so these are different messages from the Wii mode to understand that you have to think the Wii mode like a boat as they say in a fuck page in a website so uh, a boat pitches the nose goes up and down and rolls tipping left or right so you might fall off the deck and yells nose oscillating left and right acceleration like you can play drum when you start to push a button you see on the laptop it appears a new field. I can press the button one. Now I press the button two. Voila. And now the minus and the plus and the home A and the arrow keys and the B. So now I have all the messages that one Wiimote can send. There's another thing here inside. There's a, a tiny little infrared webcam infrared cam that can read infrared light on the Wii there's an infrared bar that it's used with this camera to to know the position of the of the controller but I usually use it reverse like this is steady and I move the infrared sources but I will explain that in another video tutorial. You can connect up to four, well up to eight Wii modes or ten, but then you can use only four at a time. But can you imagine how 
many possibilities you have with four controllers, how many buttons, how many accelerometer, how many people can use. This is very useful in like in theater production, in dance production, because people have to move on stage and this can be carried in, in a pocket. You can move it with your hand in your pocket and you can trigger clips, sounds, video, whatever you like. Okay, let's start. Today I'm going to use uh, two software. One is Ableton Live for audio and one is Modulate for real-time video. To do that we need MIDI signals. Let's say I want to do a simple things like play a note like I will do on a keyboard. And I want to do it with a button 1. Okay, so you go here and you click in you know, event type and you you say MIDI note, you, you see you have a lot of parameters here, you, you can do a lot of things. Um, okay, uh, to play like a keyboard, I wanna use the MIDI note parameter and I can choose the note I wanna play. Let's say is a C3, classic starting note. And I want it to be on channel 1. You know, MIDI has 16 available channels. Okay. Now I want to open my software, Ableton Live, and I want to load an instrument inside a track. Uh, say, blah, 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 blah. It doesn't matter. DMB, I like drum and bass, okay. Let's try with the keyboard if it works. Okay. Now here I want to select the oscillator out and the channel, which is channel 1. And so now if I press the button 1, it should work. Yeah. Fucking awesome. has no latency at all, maybe milliseconds, but I can hear, I can play. And now I want to change the parameters like so, like I will do on, with, the, with my mouse. Yeah, you can hear changes here. So what I want to do is go back to Oscillator and assign, let's say to the pitch, which is this movement, MIDI CC value. The first free value, channel one, it's okay. You can change channel. Let's say we want to all the controls on channel number two and we go back to Ableton Live and we select our MIDI mapping and it's already done see it's mapped okay we stop it come on M if you're on a Mac and you see how precise it is, how fast it is to map, and, and how easy it is to play. Let's say I want to play this C note. Well, you can use it for filters and whatever you like like if you're a DJ you can use this on your filters filter cuts and delays and assign whatever effect you want and you can trigger clips from Ableton Live oh, I have to create a new track audio track let's load a clip inside 
problem starts when you start mapping um, because if I want to map this to a button now let's see what happens okay. oh, boom mapped to the pitch value because the accelerometer always send signals because it's always moving even if it's steady it may stream some signals so you want to uncheck the value that you don't need so you can map this on a delete the mapping so now I can move it but it doesn't send the sounds to Ableton so now I can assign this clip to a button let's say the minus button oh which is not map you see now I can put it one two whatever is optional so minus voila and now when I press the minus the sound starts and I can play the sound but now but now it's not the sound it's not moving because you uncheck this values so again let's try working you can do whatever you want it's up to your creativity fantasy okay now that we try with audio we can try with video too we can use the same but we switch to modulate and we want to load uh, a video somewhere try that okay so I want to do the same thing that I've done with live I want to map things out here and start with fun so I can trigger clips the same way I did with Ableton with buttons but I can assign it to sliders too it's more fun I think so let's say I want to assign the pitch value to a color and to do that I edit my MIDI map click here and you see it's mapped with a signal MIDI CC value 0, channel 2, value 0, channel 2. Okay. So now, you see, I'm changing colors for my output. So black becomes red. This is very simple, but imagine what you can do with all these knobs and all these effects and all these modules that Modulate has. Okay, if you have any questions or comments, if you want a more in-depth tutorial about something, leave a comment below, subscribe to my channel, and see you next time. Bye! Please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to visit my website, www.badinstruments.com. Thank you! Bad, bad.